What's going on guys, Matthew Sabi here. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make 500 hours every single day with affiliate marketing without paying for ads or even having an existing email list. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Now as you guys probably already know, affiliate marketing makes up a substantial part of my online income. Now, affiliate marketing means you are promoting someone else's product or offer in exchange for a commission. Typically, you do this by building up an email list, as we've done over the past couple of years of trusted people who you give them value, and here and there, you could sell and promote different affiliate offers too. You could join affiliate contests and launches, which I'll explain in just a moment. But the thing that really stops a lot of people from getting into affiliate marketing as beginners is either A, they don't have the money to spend on paid ads to get people to those offers, they don't have their own product to get leads into to promote offers to, and most importantly, they don't have an existing email list they built up to promote these things to as well. Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how you could build lists of thousands of public emails from Instagram within a matter of hours that you could use to promote your offers and services to. To hammer home the point of just how powerful this tool is, take a look right here inside of one of my Warrior Plus affiliate accounts. We generated just over $6,000 in affiliate commissions using nothing but the leads we generated from this tool. Now, this just doesn't work for affiliate marketing. You know, that's the example I'm gonna be using here. You guys could use this as a digital agency. You could target people only in a local area. Maybe you're doing marketing services for them, like a social media marketing thing. You could use this to build lists to make custom audiences on Facebook ads if you're running an e-commerce business. Basically, whatever you do online, this tool is very, very powerful, yet it's also very dangerous. Let me say this before we jump onto my computer and show you how this is done. My lawyers and myself would like to remind you that you need to be abiding by all the can spam laws and regulations in your country because unfortunately, we are in such a strange time where people are so wimpy and they get triggered by receiving emails or f text and phone calls they don't like. So I'm basically doing this for educational purposes and you take this power and do with it what you will. Now, the first thing you need to do, you're not gonna make any affiliate commissions is smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps out this channel and it gets this content to more people who need it just like you. Okay, so here we are inside the software. Again, the link to this is gonna be down below. I'm gonna be continuously updating it with whatever the latest software is that accomplishes this task. Now. The first thing we need to do is head over to find users. This is where we're gonna find the actual list of users to scrape the email addresses from. Now, to get this list of users, we're gonna head over to Instagram. Ooh, can't stand this guy. Now, let's say you're promoting some type of health and fitness offer. Maybe you wanna go out there and you wanna promote like meal plans or supplements and stuff like that. Then maybe you would target someone like Mr. Greg Doucette. Because as you guys know, on this channel, we always market harder, harder than, than last time. time. So what I recommend you do, instead of just going after someone's followers, is making sure you have the most engaged people on the account, which is gonna be the people who are liking and commenting on these photos. So what you wanna do is go to a photo that has a large amount of likes and a large amount of comments, and you wanna copy the link, go back in the software, and we're gonna choose the specific post likes and commenters. So I'm gonna click on go, we're gonna paste in the URL and click on submit. One other thing I do wanna to mention too, before you copy a post or you start scraping emails from a user, make sure you go into the likes Open up a couple of these in the different tabs and make sure they look like real legitimate profiles. Because as you guys know, a lot of these big influencers, they buy fake followers, but as it looks here, Mr. Greg Doucette does have a decent amount of real people on his profile. So once you have that, as you can see, it's gonna start collecting a list or a spreadsheet of all the people who have liked that photo. Now, one quick note I wanna throw in there is, boom, wow, that was very convenient timing. After a while, Instagram is only gonna allow so many calls to their API from your IP address. Now, thankfully, this is very simple and free to get around. Now, you can just go ahead and use the free VPN that they recommend inside of Chrome, but the one that I use personally is Proton VPN, which is also free. So remember guys, anytime you're doing anything on the internet where you don't wanna be tracked, whether you're buying and selling guns, drugs, weapons, on the dark web, stuff like that, this is the one that I recommend and use. So I already have this installed. 
All you need to do is click on protect me, boom, and just let this page sit for a minute. It's gonna automatically reload and then scrape all the rest of those users. But for the sake of example, I'm just gonna turn this off again and we're just gonna use the 10,000 some odd users it's already scraped. Now you can just download the people who like the photo or just the people who comment on the photo, but I recommend doing both to get the best results. And as you can see, it's gonna download those into the CSV spreadsheet files. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna use Apple number if you're on a PC, you can use Microsoft Excel. If you're poor, you can use Google Docs, but make sure you have some type of tool to open these CSV spreadsheet files. So now what you wanna do before we touch these is head over to the email extractor tool. So we're gonna click on this link right here, and this is where you wanna paste in the usernames of all those people that we just scraped from those profiles. So I'm gonna hop back over here. I'm gonna click on the first username here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. A uh, quick shortcut is if you hold shift and click the last one, it'll select everything in between. So I'm gonna go copy. I'm gonna paste those in. So those will be who liked his post. We'll go to the other spreadsheet and copy everyone who commented on that post. So I'm gonna copy again, we'll paste those in here. And all you need to do is click on submit. Now you could actually name these different sets of users. So let's say you're scraping the same person multiple times. What I recommend doing is labeling them, let's say Greg one, and then you could do two, three, et cetera. I'm gonna click on set. And now in this section, it's gonna allow you to select the actual information that you wanna scrape from that account. So as you can see, there's a lot of information that I can pull. Obviously, we want the public email and you could also scrape phone numbers. Now, speaking of phone numbers, you guys may have seen my last video where I showed you how to use a free tool to send thousands of personalized iMessages to people from a contact list like this. Now, again, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not insinuating anything. Do with this information what you will. Now, one thing to keep in mind is every one of these boxes you have checked, it's gonna take the tool a little bit longer to scrape that information. So make sure you're only checking off the boxes that you absolutely need. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I leave on and what I turn off. And I'm gonna explain why in just a second here. Number one, I always leave on if the account is private or not. We don't wanna download any information from private accounts. So people are psychotic, they're already hiding all their stuff. So their email is not gonna be public. It's just gonna be a waste of time. I leave the post count and follower count on as well. And obviously self-explanatory, we wanna make sure that they have a public email address. And once you guys have that set up, we're gonna click on next and you are essentially good to go. All you guys really need to do is let this tool run, depending on how many usernames were in your list. Let's say this was about 10,000. You may wanna let this run for a couple of hours. And as you can see, it's just gonna do its thing. It's gonna collect all the information and it will show you how many emails it's found in that list. I like to download information from accounts that have less than 50,000 followers. This ensures we're not downloading any information from huge influencers or huge brands who aren't gonna be interested in our offer. Now, is there an email available? Absolutely. We want to make sure we're only downloading ones with email addresses. Uh, is the account private? Like I said before, we want to check that off to no. And I always like to set posts greater than nine. So unless someone has that full first page of photos filled out on their profile, they're probably either not active or they're not a real account. So that's just another way to make sure you're filtering only active users. As you can see, it's found 30, 31 emails at this point. And that's only gonna filter out a couple of them. As you can see, these are the official numbers that you're gonna download right down here. Now guys, that is essentially it. All you need to do is let this tool run now. And by the way, you could do this, open it up again in multiple tabs and scrape multiple users at once. May let this run overnight. By the way, you do need to make sure you leave your computer on or make sure you disable standby mode and just lock your computer because your computer does need to be active while this tool is running. It is a web app, but it's technically running in your Chrome browser as an extension. So I let this run for a couple of minutes and we've already extracted 180 plus emails from that list that we pasted in. Now again, preferably you're gonna let this run for at least a couple of hours, maybe even overnight, to make sure you extract all those beautiful, beautiful emails from those Instagram profiles. That beautiful sound of cold hard cash. That beautiful, beautiful sound. Nickels, nickels, nickels. But once you're ready to export them, all you need to do is scroll down here and click on download conditional data. Conditional data just means it's not gonna download absolutely everything. It's only gonna download the posts with the information that you stipulated up here earlier. So I'm gonna click on download conditional data and let's take a look at what we got here. 
As you can see, we have the username, full name, follower count, public email, and all this other information that we requested. But all we're really interested in is the email address. Now you're probably wondering, well, Matt, why don't I want to keep the names? If I just upload these into my autoresponder tool or whatever you're going to do with them, uh, I could personalize all my emails. I could put, you know, hey, first name, and I could use all this conditional data and all this stuff. But the thing is people use very strange and flamboyant interesting names on Instagram, as you can see right here. Let's say you were going to send some kind of automatic email to this person right here. The email would say, hey, sun emoji, arrow emoji, space sun, Joe's way, something. You see what I mean? So sometimes those aren't really that useful, but you can keep them in here just in case. So what you need to do now to make this usable to let's say import into some type of email marketing tool, what you need to do is go up here and just remove any columns of information that aren't really necessary. So I'm just gonna go ahead, select all of these and delete them. Once you've done that, you wanna export this file as a regular CSV file. I'm gonna go to my desktop right here and let's save it right alongside these files. I'm gonna click on export. So congratulations, if you guys did all this properly, you now have a list of potentially thousands of public email addresses from targeted and active users on Instagram who maybe want to buy your products and services. Now, let's say you were to take this list of leads and upload it to an autoresponder like Aweber, ConvertKit, SendLane, something like that to promote affiliate offers. So you, if you were gonna do that, I'm not saying to do that, right? Um, what I recommend you guys do if you want to do this for the long term is make sure you are properly, let's say, warming up those leads. You want to start sending them free, valuable content before you start just promoting different things. So let's say we're doing the health and fitness niche again. Send them some weight loss tips. Send them a free bodybuilding guide. Give them a free ebook, something like that to literally train them to want to open your emails because you're giving away valuable content. Then once you're ready to finally send them an offer and join an affiliate launch for a product to get commissions, they're already gonna be trained, they're already gonna trust you and they're gonna learn to open up your emails because there's a lot of different like moving parts behind the scenes. Maybe we'll get more advanced in a future video, but there's things that um, prevent you from getting in the spam folder, like your domain name can get blacklisted, all these kind of things you wanna be careful about, which you guys can research on your own. But if you were to do something like that, Make sure you're warming them up, putting them in a sequence of emails that's actually gonna give them value before you promote. So value, value, pitch is the typical format. So just want you guys to keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna hop back into my computer because I wanna show you guys exactly how to find winning affiliate offers and some winning ways to really promote those to make sure you get the best results and hopefully make the most amount of money you possibly can. So let's go ahead, hop back into my computer one last time and I wanna explain a couple of things. Now again, here are the results of the test we ran using this tool and as you guys can see, this is an extremely powerful method that generated over $6,000 with only a couple hours of work over the the past week. Oh my gosh, there's so much money. Just by sending out a couple simple emails every single day. You guys could also see some of the stats here. We made 216 sales. It got about a 6% average conversion rate, which isn't too bad. All that really means is for every 100 people I sent to this offer from my email list, about 6% of those people purchased the product and it had an EPC of $1.10. Now what that means is every click that I sent to this offer, on average, I would make a return of a dollar and 10 cents. So these are just some of the important stats you guys wanna keep in mind when you're going to the affiliate space and why I wanted to show you this. Now, if you guys wanna go out there and start finding winning affiliate offers of your own, the first place I recommend you go to is a site called ClickBank. ClickBank is the world's largest affiliate marketplace for digital and some physical products. As you guys can see over on the left-hand side, you can basically find offers in any niche that you guys are promoting, from travel to sports, to making money online, to business, to health offers, and anything you really imagine. So let's say again, for the sake of example, we're gonna promote a health and fitness offer. I'm just gonna click on that, and it's gonna show you all the top health and fitness offers on ClickBank, on average, how much you make per sale, and all those same stats I was telling you guys before. So you can really see what the details of this offer are before you promote it. Now, obviously you can just go ahead and click on the offer. It's gonna open up their website so you can see what it looks like. This is obviously some kind of supplement, but you guys could sell different like fitness coaching products, meal plan things, all that kind of stuff. But even more importantly, the thing you guys want to look for is the affiliate or sometimes you hear it referred to as the JV page. What I'm going to use as an example for a marketing JV page is this product from my buddy Adil Chowdhury called Scribble. It's an ebook creator. I actually made around 32 grand in commissions from promoting this not too long ago. 
And here's what a standard JV page is gonna look like. It's gonna have all your information about the offer. And you're also gonna see that they are going to include promotional materials for you. The main thing you're gonna look for is your email swipes. Email swipes are basically email templates that are pre-tested and pre-written to convert when you mail them out to your leads. So you can just copy and paste these subject lines, copy and paste these emails, insert your affiliate link instead of just a placeholder right here. Maybe customize them a little bit, add your own personality to it, and you're good to go. So a lot of these affiliate vendors, guys, are gonna do a lot of the work for you. Now, one thing you guys really need to understand to make sure you're maximizing the profits you're getting from promoting these offers is you need to be looking up and leveraging affiliate contests. Now, what an affiliate contest is, during the first initial launch period of a product, typically around seven days from when it's released, there is gonna be a sales contest and or a lead contest for that offer. Again, all the information is gonna be on the JV page. The vendor is gonna explain all that to you. And basically all that means is the affiliate to sell the most of the product or drive the most leads to the product, like the ones we've just been collecting, get a bonus commission, sometimes upwards of $50,000. If you guys, hopefully you take this down the road, you come back in a couple of years and you're what we call a super affiliate and you're joining these massive launches, you get upwards of like $50,000 in prizes. So let's say some of these launches and these affiliate offers that we promote in our business, Sure, sometimes, you know, we'll get like twenty, thirty thousand dollars in commissions, but we'll get a bonus of twenty, thirty thousand dollars sometimes because we play so high in the sales leaderboard. So again, look in the JV pages and make sure you're really leveraging those. And there's all their kind of stuff and get into. Guys, again, comment down below if you want me to show you guys more affiliate marketing stuff because it is something we have a lot of expertise in in addition to e-commerce. But in conclusion, I really hope you guys are gonna find this valuable and this starts your affiliate marketing journey. So you could start generating these one, two, maybe an upwards of $500 a day commissions pretty damn quickly using this software, which again, by the way, the link to get this is going to be down below in the description. It works right inside your Chrome browser. It doesn't matter what kind of computer you have. I know at the time recording this, they do have a sale that's ongoing. So make sure you go and grab that. Make sure you get locked in and use this super powerful tool to really supercharge any kind of online business you have, whether it's affiliate marketing, uh, promoting your e-commerce products, promoting your agency services, whatever it is. And I really hope this starts you on your affiliate marketing journey, which by the way, keep me updated down in the comments below. I try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. If you just wanna mention something about the video, you have a question, whatever it is, just let me know. And also click subscribe to see more videos like this, but more importantly, click the notification bell because that's gonna let you get notified when I do my live streams. We do like these crazy six hour live business building streams or I'll do a Q and A thing to try and help you guys out. So make sure you click the notification bell as well. My name has been Matthew Sabia. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time.